tracking so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. All right, it's not the greatest afternoon. It's going to be cloudy, a little scattered rain too. But the good news is, is the dew point, the actual measurement of moisture in the air, shows you that it's between 55 and 60. So it's not sticky yet. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's not a bad afternoon here. Uh, a little breezy. And you can see there's uh, plenty more rain coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, moving up in our direction. And that's what we're going to be getting for tonight during the uh, overnight. For now, uh, we're just getting some light rain that's moving through the Pittsburgh area, and you see some other scattered rain there. That'll keep that chance of uh, some scattered rain in our forecast through the afternoon. Future tracker showing you that uh, around 1 o'clock, we're going to see a little more of that scattered rain. Stays with us throughout the afternoon. Almost into first news at 5 here. Then we get a bit of a break there around 6 o'clock. Next chance of rain starts to develop around 7.30, continues into 10 o'clock, into first news at 11, and some into the overnight, yes, throughout the overnight there. And that's why we're thinking today, a tenth to a quarter of an inch for tomorrow, probably a half an inch of rain. We'll have that rain during first news this morning. Tapers off a bit, then it's scattered in the afternoon once again, in a cooler highs in the uh, mid-60s for tomorrow afternoon before this uh, tapers off on Friday. It looks like just rain Friday morning. As for today, cloudy, scattered showers, breezy, 70 the high this afternoon. Cloudy, scattered showers tonight and breezy. The temperature drops to 63 at midnight and tomorrow morning when I roll you out of bed during first news this morning, 56, breezy, cloudy. You saw some of those scattered showers. They continue into the afternoon, but a cooler high of 66 degrees. And then we make our way into Friday. Looks like Friday morning we'll have some light rain, but in the afternoon it should dry out, so that gives you a little chance to get some things done outdoors before we hit the Memorial Day weekend. Saturday and Sunday. Nice part is temperatures rise to the 70s. Bad part is, is we have a chance of showers and thunderstorms, and it looks like some of that action will hold off until the afternoon so that perhaps the morning you can get something done. Then for Monday, the chance of showers and thunderstorms decreases to 30% chance. So if we're lucky on Monday, we may just have a mostly dry day and then a couple of 70-degree days next Tuesday and Wednesday.